remember how many. Oh. Maybe five months. Uh huh. Five months. Yeah, you're right. Hello, yes. hello. Hello, teacher. Good hello, evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening. How's everything? <laughs> Everything's right. Aquí hay uh, interferencia, sorry. No, 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 that's fine, Janet. That's fine. Yeah. So it's good to see you here, Janet, Basilia, uh, Sandra, Fatima, Angel, Sara, and Marjorie. Okay? So I hope everyone is doing all right. Sure. Hello. All right. How are you? How are Bye -bye you, Sarah? Thing. Nice, nice, Thank nice you. to see. I'm okay. Yeah, a little tired, but I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay. Yes. Welcome, Jenny. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. <clears throat> okay, so um, it's good to see you all. Uh, today, we, we're about to finish the last week, I mean, the last day of the week, because tomorrow we are free. Yeah, I can see Yay! your faces. <laughs> so, yes, so tomorrow, uh, remember, tomorrow we don't have classes, so it means that you have a day off, okay? All right, so, um, okay, so um, let's wait. I don't know if you have any questions. I was... I was checking um, the WhatsApp group and then I, I could see that there were a lot of questions. Do you have any question or are the questions okay? Are the questions solved? Mm -hmm. No, are, everything is all no. right? Everything is okay? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's good. That's very good. <clears throat> yeah, because uh, I was like um, reading um, some te texts over there saying that they were having some problems um, like working on the platform uh, because uh, they, um, the percentage that you see, that you were seeing basically was not the, the one that you were supposed to get. So, and the good thing is like there was a person there in the group who said that, I guess she works for uh, Inglés Corporativo. So she, um, she agreed to work and help you with any question regar regarding the, the, the grade um, system. Okay, so welcome everyone. Um, welcome one more time, Luis. Welcome, uh, let me see, Giovanni, Judith, welcome. Hello, Eunice, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, yes. Um, welcome everyone. Adriana, welcome, welcome. Okay, tell your dad Eunice not to be angry, okay? <laughs> I mean, you, I guess it's your dad, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And Giovanni? Yes, welcome. yes, sir. Okay, welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Saul. Welcome, welcome. All right, it's eight o'clock, so now we are ready to start. So, how are you today? How was your day? How was Hi. your day? Hmm? Very busy. Fine. Busy? Fine. Great. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me well? Nice. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. So how was your yes. day? Mm -hmm. Nice. So busy. busy. It was great. Nice. Great. What else? Mm -hmm. Both. My day Both. was uh, too much busy, but... <laughs> but fine oh okay that's nice that's very nice okay so let me share um my screen with you all right so today uh the name of the topic uh, that we are going to be talking today it's problems in my city remember that you have an assignment and you were supposed to write sentences describing your city. And we're going to do an activity with that later. All right. So, but basically today we're going to be talking about some problems that we can find or we can see or we are witness. Okay. And we see every day in our cities. All right. So uh, this is the agenda that I have for you. So we're going to be uh, reviewing previous um, review previous learning and then we're gonna play a game 
which is a Jeopardy. I don't know if you have ever played that game before. Jeopardy, yeah, no, no. If not, nah, it's a, okay. If not, nah, that's fine. So we're gonna have fun one more time, okay? <laughs> All right. And and then we are gonna uh, now you're gonna dance, okay? Everyone is gonna be dancing, dancing, dancing. <laughs> no, no, it's not true. I'm just kidding. Okay. And then we're gonna be talking about problems in my city. And then we have a topic which is indirect questions, okay? And the last one, practice. All right. So what is the main objective um, of today's lesson? The students will be able to practice incorporating expressions of quantity, okay? So remember yesterday, uh, the topic was describe some problems that we had in our city, I mean, uh, describing our city. However, today it's to, to use expressions of quantity, okay? For example, too many, too much, fewer, much, etc. Okay, enough. Those expressions in phrases to express typical problems. So, so that's my main goal. That at the end of the, of the lesson, you are going to be able to say too many with countable noun and too much with uncountable nouns. Okay. All right. So let's review a little bit about this one. Describing your city okay who didn't do the homework no hizo la tarea? Mm. Hmm. who didn't do it me. who who is me who is me <laughs> me oh basilia you didn't do it mm -hmm. all right so uh, what i would like you to I'm sure uh, okay that's fine Okay, what I would like you to do is, I would like you to one, uh, open your mic and read one sentence describing your city because you wrote five sentences, right? Five sentences. So read only one, okay? Open your camera, I mean, open your mic and say the sen one sentence out of the five. Who's gonna be the first one? Mm -hmm. Where me, me teacher. Okay, go ahead. In my city, there, there is too much noise pollution. Oh, nice. No, noise pollution. Nice. Thank you. Next. Me teacher. Yes. In Awachapan City, there are many Chinese restaurants. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Next. Hey, teacher. Yes. In San Salvador, there are a lot of traffic. There are, there, uh, there are a lot of traffic. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Traffic mm -hmm. jump. <laughs> traffic <laughs> jump. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next. My I teacher? Yes. Yes. My yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, San Salvador is a cosmopolitan city. Uh, here live many people from many countries. Deplor deplorably, there is too much pollution because there are too many cars. Oh, good example. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Next. Me, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. In Ilotango, there are too many people in all, all other sites. Okay, thank you, Elsie. Good example. Very good example. Next. Next. Me. Yes, go Me. ahead, Angel. Go ahead, Angel. Yeah. In my Santana City, mm -hmm. I'm playing in Cuatepeque Ley. Okay. Can you read one more time your sentence, please? Yeah. Okay. Léalo una vez más, por favor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in my Santana City, mm -hmm. it is Guatepeque Ley. Ah, okay, good. So, there is a lake near to Santa Ana 
city, see? Okay, there is a lake near. Near means uh, cerca. There is a lake uh -huh. near to Santa Ana City. Okay, thank you, Angel. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Next. Me, teacher. Yes, yes, Jenny. In San Salvador City, there are enough cars. There are enough cars. Thank you, Jenny. Next. Me, teacher. Yes, yes, Marjorie. Okay, in Toyapango, there are three shopping centers. Okay, good, good. Thank you, Marjorie. Uh, Fatima Abigail says, in La Libertad, there are beautiful beaches, okay? Good, good, good. Next, who's next? Oh, are we done? Me. Okay, go, go, wow. go, go, Christian. Welcome, Christian. Welcome. Ah, so thanks, sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who first? I guess it's you. <laughs> I heard no, oh, uh, anyone else, but uh, it's hard to find parking in Metro Central because there are many cars. Oh. Good, good example, good example. Uh, don't worry, Saul. Don't worry if you don't have Audi, okay? So don't worry. Thank you, Christian. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, me, me, teacher. Okay, go go ahead, Violeta. Okay, and my city has a beautiful park and a lot of church. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you, Violeta. Anyone else? Me. Mm -hmm. In Antigua Cujatlán, there are many shopping centers. Oh, yeah, there are many shopping centers. Okay. Uh, am I missing anyone or everyone spoke? Mm -hmm. I guess everyone. Oh, go ahead, Sara. In Mexican City, okay. there are many cars and many people. Okay, uh, there are many cars and many people. Good, good example. All right, so let's move on to the next activity. Uh, and the activity is the, um, the Geo Party. What we're going to be doing is basically um, we are going to be, uh, this is going to be a game between what? Between men and women, okay? In this case, uh, it's not a woman, but it's a women, okay? So that would be a game between woman and, you know what? Let's change it. Let's do it general, okay? All right. So what we're going to do is you are going to tell me, for example, uh, by the way, this play, this game, it's about the United States and the UK. UK means United, United Kingdom, Kingdom, okay? The United States. So everything here has information about geography, rulers and politics it's interesting to see do you know them facts and myth and culture so for example if you tell me for example culture 100 i'm going to click here and there uh there will be one question if you answer correct that question you get 100 points okay estamos claros ahí yeah yes Yes, okay, for okay. example, yes. let's do the first one. Hagamos el primero para, para, para <coughs> to see how it is. Okay? Okay? Tell me. Which one and what number? Mm -hmm. um, do you know them? Hola, okay. hola. Do you know them? Okay. Hi. Uh, 400. 400. Okay. Oh. Let's click in here. Teacher, no escucho nada. Oh, I, yo creo... I don't listen. Okay, yo creo, Saúl, que es... Okay, let me type it. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Saúl. So the question is, it says, what facts about John Rockefeller is not true? Do you know who Rockefeller is? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, 
Rockefeller okay. was a millionaire. No. Or... He was a millionaire, yes, from yeah. the United States. Okay. Yeah. So United one States fact too. about John Rockefeller is not true. A, B, C, or D. What do you think? Hmm. I can see the the I, I can see the, the items. What? I can, I can see, see the, the items. items. Oh, really? Hmm. Let me see. Okay, let me stop it. Okay, let me see now. What about now? Can you see it? Yes. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. What facts about Rock, uh, John Rockefeller Center? I mean, Rockefeller is not true. A, B, C, or D. What do you think? What's better about John? Uh, he almost. I think it's D. 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 I think it's D. Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. see. D. I okay. think. D. Okay. D. Let's D. see. B. D. Yes, that's true. Uh, His uh, wife was an actress $400 uh, no, no, no 100 400 400 400, 400. 400 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah indeed listen listen <laughs> his were... wife was a teacher was a teacher yeah. oh that's nice okay i didn't know that 400. okay okay <laughs> see next okay the more money you Too have happy. the more difficult the question is keep it in mind oh mm -hmm. Geography 100. Geography 100. Okay, here we go. The capital, ah, that's easy. The uh, capital of the United <laughs> States of America. Washington. Washington. Let's Washington, see. DC. Yes, Washington. there you go. Yes. Washington, DC, of course. Okay, good. Next. Uh, it's entrance to see. Okay. 200. 200. 200. What is one of the most popular American theaters? So D. D. Broadway. The Broadway. A, Broadway. B. Broadway. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. A, okay. Good. That's good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You know. Good. Next. Hurry up. Hurry up, please. Culture 300. Okay. Culture 300. Who helps school children to cross the street? near the school hmm what do you think, think he's a, a policeman a a policeman a, 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 a policeman okay let's see no it's the lollipop lady it's not a it's not a police it's a lollipop lady all right oh. okay that's not good okay i don't know next do you know them? Do, do you know them? Uh, 300. What is it? 500. Yes. Okay. Who is called an American Walter Scott in Europe? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. That's Scott. difficult. I have no idea. Do you want to try? Do you want to try? Theodore Dreiser. Theodore Dreiser. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's see. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Fanny Moore Cooper. Okay. Vamos a jugar tres más. Three more. Three more. It's interesting to see, teacher. Okay. 400, please. 400. Yeah. What is the full name of the statue of livery? Oh, okay. Liberty. What is the full name of the Statue of Liberty? Uh, the A. 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 Yeah. A. A. One for yeah. all. C. Okay. Oh. Let's see. Letter A. Yes. Oh. Liberty oh. and lining the world. Nice. That's the whole name of the statue. Okay. We just say, oh, the Statue of Liberty, the, the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> But indeed, its name is Liberty Enlightening the World. Okay, good. Next. Facts. Facts. Geography. Geography. Okay, let's go with facts and myth. Mm -hmm. okay. Number Fact and myth. 200. 200, okay. What people gave Britain its name calling the country Britannia? Britannia. What hmm. people gave Britain its uh, name? 
the Vikings. The Vikings. The Vikings. The Vikings. The Danes. The Danes. The Romans or the Normans? I don't know. B. A, the first one, I think so. I don't know. A or B? B. 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 Okay, let's go with letter A. Let's see. A. No, the Romans. Okay, the Romans. Okay, let's go one more. The last one. Take one more. Rulers and geography. 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 Okay, let's go with geography, okay? 200. 200? Oh, 400. 400? Okay. 400. How many parts 400. are there in London? Hmm. How many oh, parts are there in London? Two. Two. Four? B. B. Four. Five? B. Okay, let's see. No. Four. four. Okay, listen. Four. How many parts are there in London? So there are four parts. Well, so basically, parts. it's mean like different places. Like it's like, like for example, when you go to Guatemala, in Guatemala, you know they have zone one, zone two, zone three, right? Zona uno, zona dos, zona yes. tres. In San Salvador, it's not right. like that. In San Salvador, it's like colonia, colonia, barrio, or, or department, or, departments, or departments. Yeah. Okay. Good. I wish I could. Uh, I I wish I could continue. Um. Uh, playing that game but we need to continue and cover uh some activities that i need to cover all right okay let's okay continue. okay let's continue mm. okay so as you know yesterday we were talking about countable and uncountable nouns do you remember that yes yes yes, yes. okay nice so yesterday we talked about that the differences um about it Okay, for example, some example of countable nouns are pen, computer, bottle, spoon, desk, cup, television, chair, shoe, finger, flower, camera, etc. So why do we say that they are countable? Because I can count. I can say one computer, two computers, mm -hmm. three computers. That's why they are countable now. Puedo decir one table, two tables, three tables. Okay? Yes? Okay, good. Nice. So, on the other hand, we have uncountable nouns. As I said yesterday, uncountable nouns cannot be counted. I can't say, for example, one oxygen two oxygens. I can't say that, okay? I can't say one meat, two meats, three meats. I can say one pound, one pound okay. of meat. I can say that, all right? So, and also another characteristics of uncountable nouns is that they cannot be pluralized. They cannot be in, in plural, only singular. All right? Estamos claros ahí? Countable and uncountable. Okay. Yes, Okay. Give me um, some example of uh, uncountable nouns. Mm -hmm. Uncountable. Uncountable. Give me some examples. The plastic in my city, there is so much traffic. Okay, traffic. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? The plastic oh. paper, for example. Okay. All right. Um, this perfume is is smelling a uh, a little wood. Okay, a little like wood, little like, little like, like, wood. A little like wood. Okay, wood. like wood. Okay, thank you. Let's move on. Okay, so my main focus today it's about adverbs of quantity. Okay, remember that when we are uh, using countable nouns, most most of the time, most of the time. We need adverbs of quantity. And remember, 
we have adverbs of quantity four countable nouns and adverbs of quantity for uncountable noun. Okay, so I have both. See, okay, so I have adverbs okay. of quantity for countable nouns and adverbs of quantity for uncountable noun. Okay, so for example, the first one is too many. Okay, for example, I can say there are too many uh, trees in the park. See, there are too many trees in the park. Okay, the other one is fewer. Okay, for example, I can say I can see fewer trees than before. Okay. What about more? Give me more apples. See? Give me more apples. Okay? And let's go. Eating one apple or eating two apples are not enough. Okay? No son suficiente. Eating two apples are not enough. Okay? Estamos claro con esto? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes, good. Teacher. Okay, good. So, but what about what about uncountable? Okay? What about uncountable? So Let me see. Give me a second. Yeah, teacher, I have a question. Yes, yes, Ricardo. Yes, tell me. Uh, can you repeat uh, what means fever? Is the word uh, the second word in the count name? Okay, this um, let, let me see again. This one fever fewer or few fewer. Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Remember, uh, fewer means uh, menos, menos, menos. Okay. For example, listen to me. Listen to this uh, sentence. I see fewer trees than before. That means veo menos árboles que antes. Mm -hmm. Fewer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, muchas gracias. Thank you. Okay, what about with uncountable? So with uncountable, we need much, too much. There is too much what? Pollution. Okay. There is too much noise. Okay. What about little? What is little? Pequeño. Pequeño. Okay. The well, also, it can be pequeño o puede ser poquito o poco. Poquito o poco. Okay. For example, I. Huh? A little milk. Yeah. There is yeah. little milk in the refrigerator. See? Yeah. There is little milk. A little of milk. Okay. However, more. This is the good thing. I can use more with oh. countable and also with uncountable. Okay. Oh. This is the good thing. See? Yes. Okay, yeah. see? Yes. So I, I can use more with countable and also I can use more with uncountable. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, give me more water. Okay. See? Give me more water. Water is uncountable. Okay. Okay. There is more, uh, it could be positive and also it can be negative. There is, okay? Oh, Sandra, you're drinking water. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. You can drink. You can drink water. Mm -hmm. Okay, you. next. The reason that is isn't enough. So if you see, let me erase this one. 
a great difference. Okay. If you see, if you see here, uh, let me. Okay. If you see right here, um, if you see right here, I have what? I have easing enough. Mm -hmm. Easing enough is for uncountable. And aren't enough, enough. it's for countable. Mm -hmm. See? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And something that I would like to uh, to mention here is that uh, almost when you say that is always you need to have this word. See? There isn't enough. So the same here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. There isn't enough. See. Okay. So there isn't enough. And the other one will be there aren't enough. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's move on to the next one. My teacher, I'm sorry. Yes. May, yes. I, may I use this to say? Uh, there isn't enough will in the people to get better this country. You mean, uh, you mean willingness? Will, willingness. Uh, well, willingness. Willingness. Uh, yes, willingness. Willingness is like voluntad, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. Willingness. Yeah. Willingness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Willingness. Next. All right. So also. When we are expressing, uh, or when we have, or we need adverbs of quantity, so most of the time we do this one. For look at this example. There are too many cars. There should be fewer cars. We need more subway. There aren't enough buses. So here I have some examples with the bird there are, see? And too many and countable now. So there are too many cars. Give me one sentence, please. I there can are... see three stars. What is it? I can see three stars. Oh. I can uh, see three stars. Can you see, can you see my screen? Yes. I can, I can see three star oh yeah but yes 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 i, I understand what you're saying uh, but can you give me an example using this formula okay there, okay. there are there are there too are. many books okay books good if you see books book. it's countable now it's uncount it's countable now see okay. All right, yes, countable now, see? Books, I can count. So, um, yes, yes. And what about if I say there are too many people in the world? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Mm -hmm. There are too many people because people, even though people, it's uh, plural, but also you can say peoples, peoples. Peoples. Oh. Okay, for example, yes. For example, uh, you say person, one person. Yes. yes. Uh, two people. And also you can say peoples. You can say peoples. that. Yeah. Oh, but peoples good. means pueblos. Pueblos. Uh -huh. Okay? No significa personas. Okay? Uh -huh. Significa pueblos. So um, one person. What is it? Mm -hmm. uh, not population. Not population, but uh -huh. pueblos. Mm -hmm. well, como nosotros decimos, right. hay, a veces nosotros decimos, hay dos pueblos que todavía hablan náhuatl. So I can say there are two peoples that yeah, are who's... still speaking náhuatl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. There are. Another one. Can you tell me another sentence? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Yes. There are. Yes, there yes. are. There are. There, there are fewer vegetable, fewer vegetable oh. in the fridge. There are. In the fridge. Okay, good. Fewer. Nice. Good example. All right. So remember, eso le, de, le decía ayer. 
cuando nosotros estamos utilizando lo que decimos en español es I, 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 ok, la, la que utilizamos es there are, why there are, por qué there are, uh -huh. por qué there are, because it's countable, yes, it's countable, nice, very nice, ok, 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 next. Uh, me teacher. Okay, what about negative? Let's go with negative. There uh, aren't enough bicycles. There aren't enough bicycles. And no bicycle. Okay. There are not enough bicycles. Nice. Okay, another one. Negative or positive? Negative or positive? There aren't enough library in the in the city okay that's a good example there aren't enough libraries in the city okay that's good okay keep in mind there that one then so every time we are used there are there are that is for for what countable okay estamos claro ahí yes yes Yes. Okay, good, good. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, with the next one, it's the same, but with this one, we use the is. Remember, we use the is for what? For uncountable noun, see? So that's why we use the is. Why? Because they are uncountable nouns, okay? Okay. Yes, is that clear? Yes. Okay, uncountable yes, noun, so yes. I need there is, because that is uncountable noun, okay? So look at the example. There is too much traffic, see? Can you give me another example with too much? Hmm? Too much. Mm -hmm. There is too much rain today. What is it? There is too much rain today. Okay. There is too much rain today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another one? There is what? Oh, what about, uh, let's go with um, negative. There is there not. Is there is not much wind today. Too much? Wind. A okay, wind today. Okay. There isn't too much wind today. Okay. Nice. There's, there's okay. not much. There is not. There what about is there isn't enough? There isn't enough. What about enough? There isn't, there isn't enough meat in the supermarket. There isn't enough. Oh, nice. Anything. Good. Very good. There isn't enough meat at the supermarket. Nice. I like that example. There isn't enough meat. Good, good, good. What about... Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Another example? Uh, teacher, and may, yes. I, may I say there is a little soup in the, in the pot? What is it? There is a little soup in the pot. Okay, there is a little soup. Soup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. Good. Okay. So if that is clear, um, let's move on to the next one. Remember, there are for countable, there is for uncountable. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Sometimes it's very important that we, um, let me see this one. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me move this one, okay. Okay, sometimes uh, we want to provide opinion, right? Nosotros decimos en español, deberían de haber más carros, deberían de haber supermercados, deberían, 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 deberían. So that expression, it's the one that we have right here. 
There should be. There you go. Por ejemplo, el alcalde debería de construir otra calle. El alcalde debería. So when we say that, there should be. For example, look at this example. There should be fewer cars. See? Tell me something else that uh, that should be fewer. Something that 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 that, that, that should be fewer. Uh, maybe in your city. In your city. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something this that should be fewer. Mm -hmm. There, there should be fewer cantinas in the city. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good, good. Fewer good. bars good. in my city. Okay. Okay. See? There should be fewer bars in my city. Good example. An another one. There should be... Sir, how can I say uh, batches? Batches? Uh, you can say, I say holes, como hoyos. Holes, yeah. Mm -hmm. holes. Holes. Mm -hmm. There should be a fewer holes in the, there should in the be streets of my city. Oh, that's a good example. <laughs> nice. Street. Something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there aren't enough cut walls. Okay, there aren't enough. Okay, yeah, I like that one. Okay, what about, but what about when, if we use the expression, there should be, or we should have? We should have. All right. We should have. Deberíamos de tener what? We should have in our city. More hospital. We should have more hospital. Good. Something else. Mm -hmm. We should have more uh, schools. We should have more schools. Okay, what about um, there? Okay, what about negative? There shouldn't be, mm -hmm. there shouldn't be a negativo. There shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. There shouldn't be? Yeah. There mm -hmm. shouldn't be. No debería de haber. Mm -hmm. Estadio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Estadio. Okay, okay, okay. There shouldn't be stadiums. That's a good example. Okay. So remember, when we are expressing opinions, this is the formula that we need. There should be fewer, um, for example, in my case, I think here in Chilanga Morazan, there should be, mm, let me see. Basically, we don't have anything. <laughs> yeah, like um, let me see. Um, Oh, we should have a supermarket. Definitely. Here in Chilanga, we should have uh, a supermarket. Mm -hmm. A supermarket. Okay. Okay. Questions. Tienen pregunta de estos, chicos? Questions. No? Everything is not weird. Okay. Uh, yo sé que ya trabajaron en, en la sección número en la sección número dos de para completar sus sus asignaturas sus tareas, pero también este si no lo han hecho pues eh, también este es parte de eso. Aunque sé que todos lo hicieron bien ustedes, yeah. yo sé. I know, I know. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move on. Okay. Let's see uh, these questions. Is there a lot of traffic in your city? Answer that question. Is there? Yes, of... there are. Mm, yes, there are. Yes, there is. There yes, is. There is. Yes, yes, there, yes, there, is. there is. Okay. Yes, there mm -hmm. is. Okay, good. The next question. Are there many buses in your city? Yes, there are. Yes, there, is. there, are. Yes, there yeah. are many buses in okay. my city. Okay. Listen up. Uh, I don't know who, but I heard somebody saying, yes, there is. Si yo pregunto, are there, yo tengo que responder con, yes, there are. Pero si yo pregunto, is there, yo voy a contestar con, yes, there is. Okay? Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. 
are there enough police officers in your city? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. No. No, there are. Oh, there are. No, there are. There are. There are. <laughs> Uh, okay yeah remember that every city can be different okay yes there is i mean yes there are or no there aren't okay next is there too much pollution in your city yes there is yes, yes. yes. Uh, there is a lot of pollution oh, por ahí escuché a alguien que dijo yes there are <laughs> por favor uh, acuérdense si yo Llevo esta opción, is there, yes, there is. voy a contestar, yes, there is, or yes, no, there, there is. isn't, no, no there, there isn't. isn't. No, there isn't. Ok, keep in mind that one, que con el mismo que yo pregunto, con ese mismo respondo, ok, nice, very nice. Ok, what about some problems in my city? I would like you to answer those questions, see? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And tell me, tell me the, the problems in your city. Mm -hmm. Look, number one, who wants to read number one? Number one. City should provide more security. More security, good. Y lo bueno es que I can use more with countable and uncountable. Nice. Number two. Number two. We have too many. We have too many. We have too many what? We have too many cards. We have too many cards. What else? Remember, we are talking about problems in our city. Many. Okay, think about your city okay. and many, tell me uh, some problems. Think about your city. Yeah, yeah. coach. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, how do you yes. say perros callejeros? Oh, well, you can say uh, dogs. Uh, street you can dog. say street dogs. Street okay. dogs. In my city, we have too many street dogs. We have too many trash. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, too much, but too much trash. Too much trash. Good, good. Those yes. Too much trash. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good. We have too many COVID infected in our city. There are, well, in that case, if you talk about um, people, so it should be uh, there are too many, too many infected yeah, people. Of course. We uh -huh. have too okay. many infected. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, good. What about number three? Uh -huh. That is too much. That is too much. There is too much pollution in the city. There is too much pollution in the city. Number four. Vamos a ver. There déjame, is too many déjame, Okay, déjeme escoger a alguien. Trees. Okay, voy a escoger a alguien que no. no. Voy a escoger a alguien. Okay, déjeme ver a quién escojo. Patricia Marroquín. Patricia Marroquín. Number three, Patricia Marroquín. The the earth too much. Mm -hmm. There is too much what? Mm -hmm. Traffic. Yes, there is too much traffic. Good. Thank you. Vamos a ver el número cuatro. Vamos a ver. Tan, 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 tan. There is an Mel Melvin. Melvin, number four. Sure. Yes. There isn't enough trees in the city. Oh, okay. Yes. Enough. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. There isn't enough. Okay. Uh, okay. there isn't enough what? Probably you can say Trees. there isn't enough water. Trees. There isn't enough water, There's right? Enough water. Hey, by the way, do you take shower every day? Yes, of course. In the city. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. You need to take a shower every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every day, take a shower, all right? Don't go to the university without taking a shower. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, good. Number five, number five. Mm -hmm. There should be fewer... Dogs, street dogs. Yeah, there should be fewer street dogs. Good. Number six, there should be less... Noise. 
how there should be less noise, there should be less uh, pollution, there should be less trash. Yeah, trash, trash. in the streets. Trash. Okay, good. All right. There should be less delinquency. Delinquency, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, right. Good. That's a good example, Sandra. Thank you. Get All right. Less. Okay. And this is the last topic of today. We have, uh, yes, we have 12 minutes so that I can over go over with that topic. And the topic is indirect questions. Okay. We have, in English, we have direct questions and indirect questions, right? Una pregunta directa podría ser, where is the bank? Okay. Where is the bank? Es una pregunta directa. But do you know that the sometimes, especially when you speak to a stranger, imagine, just imagine you come to San Miguel. Imagine, right? You've never been to San Miguel. And let's suppose that you come to San Miguel and then you are looking for, you are looking for the cathedral, okay? In San Miguel, all right? <clears throat> so, right. Cuando van, no le dice, mire usted, ¿dónde está la catedral? No le dice así en solo, ¿verdad? Sino que va amablemente y le dice, ¿me, me podría decir dónde está la catedral? Right? Right? Yeah, right. Yes? No le yes, dice. Yes. Yes. Ah, so, the same happened in English, okay? The same happened in English. So, okay. let's suppose that Joaquín and I are good friends, okay? Let's suppose that Joaquín and I are good friends. Because I know him, I say, hey, Joaquin, where is the cathedral? Okay, because I know him. Esa es una pregunta directa. Where is the cathedral? But in this case, since I had never seen Joaquin before, Joaquin for me is a stranger. So I go and ask him polite. Could you tell me where the cathedral is? See? Se teacher, más polite. Uh -huh. me, teacher, my answer is it's in front of uh, the Central Park in Santa Ana City. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Teacher, yes. Is correct when you say, uh, could you tell me where, where the bus station is? There you go. Yes, it's correct. It's very correct. Okay. Thank see, you. yes, because the look at here. Okay, let me take a note. See, the question is the direct question is where is the bank? Donde está el banco, right? Look, look what happens when I'm using indirect questions. Lo muevo para el final. See, see, could you tell me where the bank is? Yes, yes, see. Could you tell me where the restrooms? Uh, the um, here there is a mistake. Yes. Okay. Could you tell me where the restroom is? See? Okay. All right. So, vamos right. a ver. Le, le voy a dar una oración ahorita y déjenme ver si ustedes me adivinan cómo sería, cómo sería, eh, cómo sería en indirect questions. Okay. Tum, 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 tum. Okay, here we go. All right, let me see. Give me a second. I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, let's suppose that I have a question and the question is, okay, the question is, um, where do you live? That's the question. Where do you live? That's the question. How would it be? Mm -hmm. How would it be using? Could you tell me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, could you tell me where? Where? Could where, you tell me where you live? There? Where do you live? There? Where do you live? Do you? Do you live? Do you? Do you live? Do you live? Do you live? Okay, could you tell me, listen, la mayoría de personas, la mayoría de personas cometen este error. ¿Cuál es el error que cometen? Lo vuelven a decir así, miren. Could you tell me where 
do you live? Just like that. In English, I cannot have two questions in one. ¿Sí ven? Okay. Esta parte de acá es una pregunta. ¿Sí? Could you tell me? Esa es una pregunta. Y aquí sería la otra. Where do you live? Is another question. So, I cannot have two questions in one. I can only have one question. Si yo lo dejo así, está incorrecta. So, I need to change it. ¿Sí? Where do you live? Could you tell me where you live? Where do you live? Where you live. Good. Okay, what about this one? Teacher. What, what time is it? I'm yes. sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Um, can I say... Could you tell me where you live in? Oh, yeah, you can say that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What Pero time is it? You tell me where it is. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Ricardo? Okay, give me a second, Sandra. Hello. Ricardo? Ricardo? Hello? Hello? Yeah, Hello? I guess, was you, Ricardo, saying something? Sí, sí. Eh, estaba preguntando en la segunda oración de que puso ahí arriba si no era necesario ponerle el do oh, en la pregunta de could you tell me where do you live? Ok, listen. ¿Por qué moví el is de acá? Porque el is es un verbo. Ok, it's a verb. But in this case, the do, it's not a verb. It's an auxiliary verb. That's why I do not include it. Okay? okay. The, por eso no lo incluye acá. Because it's an auxiliary verb. Okay? Yeah, that's what I don't need it. That's what it disappears when I move it right here. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. Okay, good. And remember, if you have any question, please uh, ask me. Okay, what about what time is it? What time is it? Could you tell me what time Could is it? Could you tell me what time it is? Could you is? tell me yeah. what time? What time? It is. What it time is this? It. it is. Okay, good. Could you tell me uh, what time it is? Good. Okay. Okay. Let me see this one. Where are the restrooms? Okay. What are the restrooms? Uh -huh. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Could you tell me, Could you tell me what? Uh -huh. Could you tell me where, where the restrooms, restrooms are? are? Where the restrooms are? are. Good, good, good. Okay, what about this one? Uh -huh. When, when do you eat? Uh -huh. This is a difficult one. When do you eat? When do you eat? When do you eat? When do you eat? Ayer. Could you tell me? When you ate, when you tell me, when you tell me when you ate, you aha, la veo ahí como que when you ate, yes, yes, could you tell me when you ate? Por qué ate y no eat? Because remember, I had did, and when I had did. The verb doesn't change. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I know this is a little bit, a little bit sometimes. Like, look at the example here. How often do you uh, do the buses leave? Can you tell me how often the buses leave? Okay. Look at the other one. What time does the bank open? Do you, know Do you know what time what the bank opens? opens? Look. ¿Y por qué dice opens? Porque tengo esta acá. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Okay. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Yes. Okay. In this case, because I don't use, no ocupo el das right here, that's why I have the letter S with the verb. Okay? okay. Look at the other okay. example. Look at the other example. Um, 
When did flight 566 arrive? Do you know when flight 566 arrived? Okay, see? Right. Okay. All okay. right. I wonder if you have any question. Mm -hmm. Do you have Oops. any question? Mm -hmm. No, no. Teacher. No, no, no questions? No, no questions. questions? All right. No questions. So, so to conclude the lesson of today, can you tell me what do you learn today? What do you learn? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> About countable and not countable. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, countable. Adverse of quantity. Adverse of quantity. Can you give me some example of adverbs of quantity? Yes, of course. Too <laughs> many, fewer. Too um, many, fewer. More. Okay. Um, enough, 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 fewer. Yes. But those are fewer. for count nouns and for non count nouns. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another kind, you know, it is um, a little. Okay. Uh, and also, we can use fewer, more. To... More, more, more than <laughs> enough. Okay, good. Can you tell me a sentence? Okay, let me see. The ones who haven't. Participate. Vamos a escuchar los que no han hablado de este día, ¿ok? Ok, can you tell me a sentence using too much? De los que ustedes se consideran, híjole, hoy no pude hablar mucho, hoy voy, hoy voy a hacer una oración. Ok, tell me a sentence using too much. Hello, lo llamo. Porque yo sí sé, yo sí sé quiénes son. Ajá, ajá. Yes. Okay, teacher. Uh huh. Tell me. A sentence with too much. There is, there is too much traffic in the, in the city. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Because of the time, I wish I can continue, uh, but I have another class. So I hope to see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. So tomorrow we don't meet each other. I'm going to see you on Monday. And if you have any questions about your grades, keep asking in the chat because we have Flor, I guess. El nombre de ella creo que es Flor, ¿verdad? Ella está para ayudarles. Yes. Yes. Flor Sánchez. So if you have any question about your grades, go there in the chat and contact her directly. Okay? So, okay. ha sido un gran placer okay. haber estado trabajando con ustedes esta semana. I'll see you next, okay? Next week. Okay, take care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. bye.